What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a quick and easy get ready with me. I have some errands to run today. We are now in our new house, so I'm officially filming in our new house, which we're so excited about. So um, please be patient with me. I'm trying to figure out the best area to try and film regular scheduled videos, lighting, all that stuff. So um, we are gonna be testing it all out together. So I figured I'd just go ahead and get ready with you guys. Um, I'm gonna start off with some facial toner. This one is by a brand called Pradiance, and I use this one quite often. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can really get a better idea. Um, but this will probably be what my setups are going to start looking like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Pradiance, like I told you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on the face. It's kind of like a Mario Badescu spray as well. I really like this one because it smells a lot like the spa, which I really like. So all those really good essential oils and things like that. Also, a side note, if you hear any snoring, it's coming from down here. It's my bulldog puppy. I'll link that video too if you didn't see that. We got a bulldog puppy, so he is napping right now. So he's gonna be snoring a little bit if you can hear him in the background. Okay, so for foundation, I haven't been um, priming my face, by the way. I just um, have found that I don't always feel like I need it, especially if I just need makeup on for you know six or so hours of the day. I don't really need it for a long period of time. Unless I'm going out to a wedding or something, I just haven't really been using that. But this is um, a foundation that I use all the time. I've used it on my uh, channel before. This is the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick, and I'm in the color Natural Tan. It's 4.25. It is a little bit darker on me um, than usual, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on how I normally do, and then I'm going to color correct it with my uh, concealer. So I'm just kind of hitting the points that I need. Um, sorry, I gotta let the dog out. Did you need to go outside? <laughs> okay, so now I have the foundation stick laid on. I'm gonna buff it into the skin, and then I'll go in with the concealer anywhere where I feel like maybe it was a little bit too dark. And for hair today, I've just literally, this is kind of like third day hair. I haven't washed it or curled it or anything. I had it curled yesterday and it was so windy, it kind of all blew out. So I just put a little head scarf on. I often do that. I feel like it kind of saves you um, from having to get your hair washed um, so many days in a row. I try and go like four days um, without washing my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and start with some of this concealer too. Just under the eye, bringing it up, and then a little bit down the nose, some on the chin, and right here in between the forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff this in. So I'm gonna quickly set my face with this NYX finishing powder just underneath the eyes and on the eyelids and right around the mouth. Just somewhere nice and matte. Okay. That is cool. Now I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I honestly have not found a better bronzer um, than this one in a really long time, so I just keep coming back and back to this one. The color is just really on point and warm and cool at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. And in terms of getting makeup on my scarf and things like that, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, um, I do get makeup on my scarf, and if you guys want to see how I clean all my luxury scarves, um, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll make like a really quick video on that, uh, because I often wear head scarves, and then a lot of times they get makeup and foundation on them, and it always comes right out. Okay, now for blush, I just got this blush. It is from Glossier. It's the Cloud Paint in the color Dusk. It's... Um, a bit more of a bronzy blush, but I really like that super tanned kind of look. So I usually just squeeze a little bit onto this brush and put it directly onto the cheeks instead of like using my fingers. I just think that's kind of messy and 
unnecessary but the, yeah the color is dusk and it's very much a bronzy kind of blushy look which you'll see now and I just pat it back and forth just like that super simple and it kind of gives that suntan blush look as opposed to the color puff that one's a bit more pink very much more pink actually but um, the only thing with this one is you kind of need to be careful so you don't look muddy because it is a bit darker but I'm also quite fair skin tone so um, it's always going to show up a little bit more dark on me than other people right so I'm going to go into my highlighter this one I've used on my channel as well before it's the wet n wild um, mega glow highlighting powder in the color precious petals and I always just use a real technique setting brush so I can get a really controlled um, you know highlight just like right up here around the brow bone and everything this is the perfect kind of everyday makeup because this doesn't take a long time I'm just kind of walking through the steps so it's it seems like it's taking longer but Really, it's super quick and as soon as you get used to doing this makeup I mean you could do it in like five minutes I'm just gonna the lip too. super pretty really bronzy exactly what I was going for today um, and then for my brows I'm just keeping it super simple I'm just gonna use the Glossier boy brow and I'm in the color blonde and I find it's absolutely perfect I'm really curious to try the clear one um, over some Benefit uh, Cabral because when I don't do the Glossier I use Cabral but sometimes I don't have time for carving out eyebrows and stuff and this is just enough you do need to go for a brow wax pretty bad right now for my eyeshadow my eyeshadow I'm gonna do a little hack I often will just do bronzer on a 224 brush just like this and then I just put it in the crease just to give a little bit of definition um, but it's nice and matte it's pretty natural and there's nothing pro nothing crazy going on it's a really nice everyday look but Often I go out with no makeup on, but sometimes it just feels nice if you're going to the grocery store or you just need to run some errands and you don't really know who you're going to bump into. My mom always said that. She was like, you never know who you're going to bump into um, when you're out, even if you think you're not going to see anyone. So it's always just nice to feel a little bit put together, even if you don't have a full face on. Okay, now for mascara, I've been loving this one. I think I've used it on my channel before. This is... Lash Paradise um, by L'Oreal. I know this is like an old cult favorite for a lot of people and I'm new to it. So I've been using it probably since July or August and I can't wait to get some more. Um, it just lasted so well and performs really great. It makes the lashes super black too, like already. I haven't even finished the first coat and they look amazing. But these lashes, I mean, if you like a spidery lash, um, which I do, I like a thick, bold, black, spidery lash, this is the perfect mascara for you. But if you want to thin it out, um, this um, it can get clumpy pretty quick, but sometimes I like that look, so uh, I quite like it. But if you don't like that look, you could always use like roller lash or something like that. Okay, so for lips, I've been using this. It's super easy when you know that you're gonna be out in public and you're not gonna be um, checking up on your makeup all the time. This is pretty effortless. Like you put it on and you don't have to worry about if you've kind of gone over your lip line a little bit or anything. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick. They've had these around for years and I use the color Curvy Candy. I really like it. It's just kind of your lips, but juicier. Okay, so that is that, guys. Um, I'm just gonna finish off again with some of that Paradiance uh, Balancing Facial Toner. Uh, I also have a discount code for this if you guys um, 
are looking for a new facial spray. I really like this one. Probably better than um, the Mario Badescu. But I mean, it depends on what type of mood I'm in. This one has definitely more of a fragrance than the Mario Badescu, but I sometimes I really like this first thing in the morning or like right in the evening. Um, but it also really does a really nice job of, you know, setting everything together. My last, last thing is I'm just gonna top off my lips with a little bit um, of Balm.com from Glossier. I'm really into their stuff lately. Um, it's just really easy and minimal makeup and just kind of enhancing your natural features, which I'm all about. I'm also all about some full coverage too, but really like this one. This is um, the birthday flavor, so it's got a little bit of glitter to it, so. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I'm just gonna look through it all, um, not in the viewfinder. And I really like that the way the skin is super natural and with the cloud paint, you get a really nice, bronzy blush which I'm really into at the moment and just enough highlighter to make your face look dewy but not over highlighted um, really simple eye like I told you and just a really nice juicy lip so again that is everything for today thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about any of the products I use leave me a comment down below and I will try and answer all of your questions until then I'll see you next week be kind to one another bye